Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video and today we're going to be jumping in to Amphibia Season 2 Episodes 15 through 17. It has been forever since I've watched any Amphibia, which was uh, kind of by design, but yeah, it's been a while and uh, yeah, I was reviewing uh, what happened last time, lots of, lots of fun stuff. You know, we had a Halloween episode, we had a return to the town, to Wartwood. Had the uh, calamity between Hot Pop and Anne. And then we had the actual temple, which uh, was full of a lot of strife and trials and tribulations, literally. Uh, but now we have one gem charged. And also, uh, the king has some weird master apparently. I don't know what to make of that ending, but I'm sure we'll see eventually, probably in the third season. But we still have two more sets of season two before we talk about the final season of Amphibia. Episodes 15 to 17 in this video, and then of course we'll do 18 to 20 next time. I'm very excited to see what happens here. I imagine we'll have some big episodes we might be ending on the second temple, uh, or we aren't gonna, or maybe the second temple will be the season two finale, and the last temple will be at the end of the season. Also, we really need some more Sasha, please, like desperately. I feel like the show just in general does not have enough Sasha, period, and I desperately need more of her. Um, so please give her to me. Um, so hopefully we'll see some of that, but. Very excited. Curious to see what this set has in store. Three episodes, so nothing crazy. And uh, yeah, there really isn't much else to say. I'm looking forward to it a lot. Hope you guys are as well. It's time for some more Amphibia. Let's get right into it. All right. Uh, season 2, episode 15 of... Amphibia will commence in three, two, one, and play. We'll probably have a new OP pretty soon when we get to season three. That'll be cool. Or, you know, I mean, it didn't change much from season one to season two, but you know. Very curious to see what the season finale is going to be like next video. Season 1 finale was very dramatic, and I felt Season 1 as a whole wasn't dramatic. Uh, whereas Season 2 of Amphibia, while well, again it's still been mo mostly build up, it's certainly building up to be much more dramatic than Season 1. So I'm really curious to see um, how crazy we can get at the end of the season. But that's for next time. This time around we got New Wartwood. Interesting. Michelle, Drew, uh -huh. Joe? Michelle and Joe, get your thing. Marcy is here, nice. Look at it, Vivia. It's Marcy's first day in Wartwood! 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 Five more minutes. First day, first day, first day, first day! Woo! <gasps> it's so cute! It's got a folksy country vibe! Colorful characters! And Gosh, had a lot of. Is the character. statue about to? Oh no! Okay. And if the statue did that, I would have died. Myself. Ooh, those look fresh. Hi, my name is Mercy. What's your name? Oh, great! Just what we need—an outsider. Hello. <laughs> Get fucked. Hi there. My name's Mercy. Do you have any time right now to talk about Wartwood's unique architectural history? Uh, are you a weirdo? Yes. Speaking of weirdos. Are you a vagrant? Is that an accordion? Is that I really gone? Too many questions. Nice. Let's just uh. throw my shit through a window. Hey, Marmar. How's your first day in Wartwood going? Oh, great. Did you know this entire town is built on top of a swamp but never sinks? That's because the designers knew exactly how heavy to make everything. That's a cool fact. What else you learn? I also Aww. learned that small communities like this don't take kindly to strangers. Which means I don't have a chance. Don't be ridiculous. Of course I'll accept you. You sure about that? Uh -huh. Guys, come on. She's with me. All right, if you say so. Wait, is that Polly? I go where the mob goes, Anne. Hell yeah. Hmm. Bill 
warm up to you. It just yeah, it just takes time. Takes time, yeah. time. Or maybe a strategy. Oh, I'm gonna God. say time still. Come on, Anne. Yeah, I'm People with Anne on this one. To solve. Oh, Lord. Operation connect with Wartwood. Engage! Oh Lord. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the what fuck, Marcy? The town founder whose name I don't even know. How dare she? It's that klutzy outsider. Bet she'll knock the whole city down before she's through. No problem, no problem. I can fix it. Nice. Damn! Not bad. Holy crap. Oh, wow, she fixed it. Whoa. When did you learn how to do that? I took a sculpting class in Utopia. You've been taking classes? Yeah. yeah haven't you? Where are you going? Very ironic. Your female Back in the day, Mars. Anyway. Aww. What the fuck? <gasps> Even oh, the freaking spoke vibes. Hmm. Yeah. I did win the Utopians over by improving their city. I, I bet I could do the same thing here in Wartwood. I guess that can work. Come on in. Show me all the cruddy things wrong with this town. <laughs> where do I even start? <laughs> yeah, well, honestly, where do you start? Potholes in the road. Well, Should have started with that one. Yeah, that guy's never coming back. Nice. Nice. Simp. Simp for Marcy. Wow. Whoa, street lamps that turn on? What kind of crazy town is this? Stuff's okay, I guess. Still not sold on this outsider. Yeah, yeah. Nice, dude. The town looks great. Thanks, Anne. But I still haven't done enough. I need to go bigger. Did someone say bigger? Oh, God. You don't... Great air balloon toad school. Marcy, meet Mayor Toadstool. He's like if the Monopoly man had a baby with a piece of fried chicken. That better be a compliment, Boon Choy. So you're I don't know if it is or not. Right on the money, huh? -huh. And speaking of money, are you the one who's been making these delightful little improvements to our town? That's -a me. Got it. That's -a me. Okay, Mario. You look mighty impressive. How'd you like to help me make some bigger improvements, huh? I have a mind to turn this podunk little town into a real money-making tourist attraction. <gasps> if I make this town super successful, then people will have to no, no, me. No, yeah, no, sure, no, 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 no. And here's the, the plan. Take a look. Think it over. Fetch the balloon, Tony. Uh, it drifted away, sir. It what? Yeah, it's gone. Oh, dang it. That's the third time that's happened today. Really? Tony, you're promoted to balloon now. Woo! Well, I hope we can do business soon. Fly me away, Tony. Hiya, Tony. This is it, Anne? The way to everyone's heart. I don't know, Mars. Any plan of the mayor's is sure. Yeah, it's designed up. just yeah, to make money. You're probably right. Oh, Marcy, you're gonna get tempted. Role play with two L's, by the way. Or I guess three, technically. What did you do to the city? Whoa! My house is classy now. Look over there! The whole town's changed! Jesus Christ! How did you do this in one what night? And tarnation is going on here. Oh no, she didn't! Good morning, ladies and gentle frogs! And welcome to New Wartwood! New Wartwood, huh? Our city is new and improved, thanks to the work of myself and Mayor Toadstool. Gone are the dumpy storefronts of old, replaced uh -huh. by new ones made of imported Newtopian marble. The way, the way it's going to sink, the city's going to start sinking, because it's too much weight. Oh, that's creepy as fuck. Not loving that clock. No. And finally, may I present the new and approved Town Square statue! Jesus Christ. Oh, is he single? Uh, it's a statue. That's not what I asked. And yeah. Limited you're, you're saying the statue can't get it, get it on? Is free. Yeah, 15 minutes of free shit. Creepy. Until the city starts sinking. Now everyone will have to accept me. That's not how this works. People will accept you when they accept you. Yeah, which is right now. Look, Anne, you found a way that worked for you, and I found a way that worked for me. 
And it's already starting to sink. Wow. That didn't take long. What the heck is going on? Oh no, the weight! We built too much, the town is sinking into the swamp! I for one refuse to learn anything from this. Wow. Of course you are. And that's why you're well, the potato of this universe. Like after this. But I can at least make sure that everyone lives. Come on, Anne. Right on. Yeah. No, oh my god. That was so over dramatic. What are you fucking bubble gum? What the hell? Unironically though, the girl named Marcy is actually bubblegum. Cack W. That's a little worse. Yeah, you don't want to get smashed by a building. Yeah, we aren't relaxing. Okay, now we gotta stop the town from sinking. You know, laying the load somehow. Exactly! And I think I know it needs to go. Nice. Nice. Damn. How strong? <laughs> What the hell, Toadstool? How strong is Sparrow? Jesus Christ. I mean, yes, they had to build it somehow in one night, which makes no sense anyways, but... Too based, I guess. Come on, Jeff Sparrow! I believe in you! I believe in you. Damn! Sparrow really is the MVP. Holy shit. That'll do, Joe Sparrow. That'll do. Wow, it just all just floated right back up. We did it, Anne! Total success! Ahem! Wait, guys, don't be mad. Marcy just wanted to help. It's okay, Anne. I can face the music on my own. No. I'm so sorry, everyone. Aww. I mean, you're all really important to Anne, and I know how much you love her, and I guess I just wanted you to like me too, but I took things way too far. Yeah, that. Marcy, was it? I think I speak for everyone here when I say, we're all pretty mad at you. To be but fair, that's... I shoulder just a bit of blame here. Zip it, Toadstool! We'll get to you. Yeah, 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 we, we, we will get to you. You're a walking disaster who doesn't know when to quit. You nearly destroyed this town and killed us all. Sounds like Anne. Wait for it. Wait for it. In other words, you're just like Anne when she got here. <laughs> huh? Kecked yeah, you. Which means we'll probably get around to liking you eventually. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Is that true? Oh, for sure, man. I even set the whole town on fire once. No lie. Burn yep. my trousers up. I remember that. I'm still on fire. Nice! <laughs> even even, even when the city su I'm nearly sure sunk into the swamp, you didn't get wet After enough. a lengthy period of regarding you with extreme borderline paranoid suspicion, mind you. Of course, yeah. of course. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> Sasha did happen, I'll so we're kind best. of 50-50 on humans so far. At least clean this mess up. And by that I mean Sasha's well, better not do any more than that. badass and Ann sucks, I'm just kidding. How? Are you actually Mario? What's going on? I gotta say, she's pretty amazing. Yep, she's oh, one yeah. of a kind. Yeah. Oh. Definitely one of a kind. Who the heck is even in oh, there? Oh, who do you think? Oh! It's just bugs! Not what I was thinking. What the fuck? Oh. Oh wow, Sparrow. Well, that got weird. That got very, very weird at the end. That was that was one. Of, oh, what the fuck? God damn it! It did a. It did. It started me off back at the beginning for no reason. Let me just find the. Find the. Uh, there we go. Um, okay, so that was um, episode fifteen A of Amphibia season two. And, uh, yeah, Marcy's introduction to the citizens, the denizens of Wartwood, um, as well as the short-lived creation and destruction of New Wartwood, rest in peace, New Wartwood, season 2, episode 15A to season 2, episode 15A. But, um, yeah, that was a fun little episode, definitely enjoyed it, cool to see Marcy interacting with the peeps, she's obviously hanging around for a little while, and... Having her in Wartwood with Anne and the planners and the rest of the Wartwood peeps is pretty cool. I definitely like it. Um, 
And it's nice that we're getting this Marcy, because again, that does give me hope that it does seem like I think the next time we get Anne and Sasha, we're actually going to be getting Anne, Marcy, and Sasha, which they had a little dialogue that did kind of build up the eventual uh, reunion of all three of the BFFs, which I'm so excited for. And I'm honestly thinking will probably happen in the next set, but I'm hoping we get Sasha anyways in this set, just a Sasha grind thing. But yeah, no, that, that was, that was a, that was a nice episode. Nice start. Nothing too crazy. Um, but a solid episode for sure. And again, just, just the thing that like, yeah, it's, it, it'll, sometimes it just takes time and you got to give things time. And Marcy, obviously, I mean, Anne can be that way sometimes too. Um, but Marcy is definitely the type who has to be very, um, she's very headstrong and she's got to try to do her thing. And if anything, this episode actually felt like it kind of played off of the lesson that Marcy learned in the last episode with the temple. Um, and it kind of plays off of another lesson about that. So it's kind of interesting when you think about it, the last two episodes have both kind of been about Marcy learning a lesson as opposed to Anne or Sprig or Polly or Hop Pop. It was about Marcy learning things. So that's actually kind of an interesting, you know, it's not a, tr I wouldn't say it's a pattern yet. Um, if this episode's about Marcy too, then that would be a pattern, but uh, certainly an interesting coincidence um, that the last two episodes have both featured Marcy in such a manner. Obviously, last episode had a, the, or by last I mean episode 14, had a ton going on all around for various characters, but Marcy certainly had a big lesson that she learned in the midst of it. But um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what this episode will be about. Uh, it was It was like, oh man, it was like, I think it was like friend or, but instead of foe, it was like... Some weird frog term or something. Yeah, friend or Frobo. Um, if Frobo's a character, I don't remember them. They're not in my notes. I have a lot of characters on my notes, actually. So I guess we'll see what Frobo is and whether this person is a friend or a Frobo. That implies that Frobo would be a foe? Question mark. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll see what that's all about. Should be interesting, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just check it out. It's time to find out if you're a friend or the worst thing known to man, a Frobo. And let's find out. Janava? Jen? Let's get it. Jen, Jen and Janava. Marcy hanging out with the planners again. What are we gonna do? <laughs> You'll see. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, come on. Don't worry, Marcy. We don't have to go into the boring this old... This is so cool! A store just for seeds? Why, we could be there for hours. Don't tempt me. <laughs> oh, my God, these two. The humble seed. So much potential for growth. Yep. One of the rare yep. things in life. Where you actually Marcy get out what you put in. It's... Beautiful! <laughs> what the fuck? Have fun in there! Yeah, we're good here in the wagon. Oh, and look after Polly, you two. Oh boy. Perfect. Oh no. Now that the nerds are gone, you guys want to go make mischief? Guys? Robo ring, huh? Oh, that looks pretty fun. Hey, did you hear me? You know, in the past, I would have said yes, but I think I'm getting a little too old for that nonsense. Sorry, Polly, but me and Anne have changed. We're different now. Wow. Some of us even sound different. What? Nothing. Oh, anyway, shit. I think we should focus our energy Going on more puberty a little there. activities. Hey, use your kitty cat blasters! On it! So kitty cat no blasters are the best type of blasters. Me. Sorry, dude. And in case you didn't hear, we're responsible for you. Boo! You'll get it one day when you have someone to look after. Death first! You're dead. Dang it! You two are responsible for me, huh? So I guess that means you're responsible for this! What the? Who's responsible for this? They are! Huh? Used to! Get over here and clean this up! We're sorry! We're sorry, We're sorry! sorry. Wow. Oh, Polly, you little. This episode, Polly's gonna be such a bitch. Holy shit. Who needs the 
those two. Hmm. Now, how can I be rambunctious to the max? Oh, God. <laughs> this poor statue. It's got through enough Keep already. Oh, okay. Welcome to the Splash Zone! Ah! Hmm? Wow. Huh. Really thought that splash would be bigger. Yeah, you're mm. a pretty small little <gasps> tadpole over there. Mm. You're gonna steal someone's ah. pie, Jesus Christ. Uh, Percy Jr. <laughs> oh, damn. When you're this the mayor's assistant, so you get fucked. Stupid ant, stupid sprig, you can't. Hmm. Is this gonna be just Wally or something? Oh. Wait, the robot? Wait, the robot that's been following them this whole time? Is somebody in there? Yes, it is! Yes, it is! Well, this was unexpected! Is this Frobo? Oh, Frobo! Because it's a frog robot, Frobo. Huh? Wow, it's just mimicking it. <laughs> you clown! You're copying me! <laughs> well, that gives off evil vibes, Whoa, but sure. Your laugh is horrifying. It is. I love it! I You're do no love monster. horrifying You're laughs. Just a big tadpole. I'm Polly, by the way. What's your name? Can't talk, huh? You really are a baby. Sure. You look like one of those things from the fighting game on Anne's phone. What was it called? Yeah, oh, Robo Ring. Except you're more like a frog. <gasps> Frobo. I will call you Frobo. We have a name. <laughs> Seem pretty know, happy I know, with that. I'm a genius. Yes, you are very smart. So what else can you do? Yikes. Flying oh, fish, wow. Wow, wow. Wow. I don't believe this. I am my own frog dang sidekick. Frobo. Well, I'm really getting um really Ooh, drunk uh. over there. Hey, Frobo, grab that beetle pie for me. Ah! Oh, hey, it's Jerry. Frobo! What the, oh my god, it can go hey, Sonic too! Fucking <laughs> Sonic fucking What the fuck? Ooh, bit of a oh, damage there. <laughs> oh shoot! Frobo! It's time to Frobo! Yeah, Frobo, you gotta run uh -huh. from the fuzz. I'm wondering if Robo is after Anne, like I thought, and yeah, it, 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 it's like somehow it lost track of her, and it's gonna go nuts when it sees Anne and maybe Marcy. On three. One, two, three. Giant octopus! Case closed! That's why you and I are partners, Larry. The best ever. Shouts to Larry, you guys are goaded. I don't know what Anne was so worried about. Taking care of someone is easy. All right, Robo, time to enter. <laughs> Come on, buddy, your turn. This might have been a mistake. Just a little bit. Man, this is the theme. Jesus, Ivy almost died. This is just the theme of this set of uh, this episode. It's just uh, oh, no! water, wa water devastation. Oh, no! Jesus Christ. Hey, then I got to try a new hairstyle in peace. Ooh, sweet sassy molasses. What is that? It's some kind of hulking Good monster. Crazy. Look at that. Well, whatever it is, it destroyed the fountain. Second time this week, too. It's some kind of metal abomination. No, no, he's not dangerous. He's just a big, sweet dum-dum. Robo, show them. Do a trick. Quite the trick there, Robo. Oops. Quick, we gotta destroy it! <laughs> Mob stuff, nice. I don't know if all that fits, but. I still. Damn! Wow, you really kicked me there. Oh, whoops. Sorry, Polly. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Well, that don't look good. And yeah, that's pretty mid terrifying. 
gonna go on a freaking killing spree. Yeah, Mom's badass, she'll protect you, Ivy. Finally done cleaning up. Now let's find Polly. I'm glad to see this finally paying off, but I'm so what, curious what if something's thing? gonna happen with Suzanne. Is that some kind of crazy frog robot? Uh, maybe? <laughs> yeah, actually. Well, whatever it is, we've gotta stop it before it hurts anyone. Oh, wait, guys! <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Nice, nice Anne, nice. Hey, put her down, you bitch. That doesn't seem like he's having any reaction to Anne, which just makes me a little more confused, but Hang in there, kids! Polly's gonna step in front of the laser beam of death. Him. Interesting. I, I know this town is no stranger to crazy at this point. But come on. I mean, it is a, thing is a mess. Uh, frog it robot, yeah. Shack. I mean, someone's got to answer for this mess. It's me. You're right. I will. This wasn't Frobo's fault. It was mine. I taught him how to do all of this. I'm sorry about the damage. I'll do whatever it takes to fix it all up. But leave Frobo alone. He's innocent. Aww. Frobo, say you're sorry. So sorry. Aww. Well, said sorry, and I suppose that's good enough for me. Eh? Yeah, yeah, you, you can't, can't rest that dig anyway. Yeah, that's fair point. I guess we already accepted two. I mean, if you destroy the town and you I mean, say sorry, you're not gonna get arrested. Point. That's definitely the lesson we want to teach kids. Meanwhile, I still think you shouldn't have bought those. What? What incarnation? Hey, hop up! Oh my gosh! Is that a robot? Where did it come from? What is it made of? Can I have one? What's a robot? Yeah, that's it's a good question. So, it, I, I mean, yeah, I guess it's kind of hard but to can explain. Can we please keep him? I'll be his big sister. Oh my god, it's going to be it's going to be part someone. of the planner family. Oh, wow, what a turnaround. Uh, I'm not sure, Polly. Sure seems dangerous. I mean, can it do anything useful? Show him, Frobo. Yo, base. Yo, holy shit. Holy fuck. Holy Jesus. Nice. Well, <laughs> to the yeah! Robo. Yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be the ultimate farmer. Else. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> toast! Hey, it's multigrain. Hey, nice. Wow. First underground computers and now a robot? Wait a second. Sprig, you don't think that thing was what got built in the ruins of disaster, do you? No way. And followed us all the way home? That would have been hundreds of miles. Could be. It is a robot. Nah. Nah. I knew they were going to say then hit us with the nah. Interesting. So that kind of puts a stopgap on that storyline that I feel like really simmered for a long time. And then they did that tease several times and they kind of stopped teasing it. Now we're finally going to pay off for it. But even the payoff is clearly going to lead to something else later down the line. Which is interesting, but it, um, Frobo being an ally is certainly a good thing, but obviously this could um, get really bad in time, depending on where the uh, narrative goes. So it's going to be interesting to see how they handle Frobo uh, moving forward, because obviously um, we've not seen the last of Frobo's relevance to the plot. Uh, whether as a as a weapon for our heroes or something more tragic and sinister. But either way, it's going to be very interesting to see where they go with all of it. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. Very excited for, um, very excited, I would say, for episode, um, um, well, I mean, I'm excited for episode 16, but I'm very excited for the episode where we get to see whatever they might do with Frobo, because clearly there's more to it than that. That's definitely going to lead into something else later down the line, which I'm definitely looking forward to. Hmm. 
that was good. That was good. That was a pretty good episode. Probably a little more interesting than 15A, but um, a bit of a weird episode, but I definitely liked the theme of responsibility and, and trying to demonstrate that Sprig and Anne, with everything they've gone through over the course of the series, that they feel a bit more mature and responsible, and kind of giving that development to Polly as well was pretty cute, even though obviously Polly... It's a little bit different of a situation with Polly compared to Sprig and especially Anne. Um, but also very cute to see Marcy uh, geeking out over stuff Hop Pop likes, like seeds. Like I thought that was really cool. So all around there was a lot of cute stuff in this. But very interesting to see Frobo get his uh, moment to actually be relevant and uh, do something and I'll be curious to see him around because we just kind of added Marcy to the group and now we're adding Frobo to the group there's a lot of potatoes around here and it's uh it's really interesting and I'm very curious to see uh where they go with the rest of them it should be a lot of fun for sure so definitely looking forward to that I'm sure you guys are as well but um that was a fun episode of Amphibia all around, like I said, and I'm definitely excited to see where they go from here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to say, honestly, about these episodes, because I did really enjoy them, but they I didn't think either of them were special. I didn't think either of them were crazy, but I did like them both a fair bit. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it, honestly. I don't really have much to say about that, uh, about episode 15, but we have five more episodes, probably nine more segments, if I'm guessing, because I'm assuming the finale is probably a double length. But um, we have five more episodes left of the season, two more in this video. So let's check out episode 16 of Amphibia Season 2. Alrighty, let's jump into Amphibia Season 2, episode 16 in 3, 2, 1, and play. <laughs> Bop, 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 bop. I was a little early on that, I think. I think I was early at the start, but I think the rest of it was on point that time. Not that it matters. I feel like I have to mention it just to tell you guys that I'm not actually out of sync. Toad to Redemption. Interesting. Gloria, Kyler, let's get it. Toad to Redemption. So obviously a play on Road to Redem... Because Toadstool! Oh, is he going to try to be a straight man and actually be a better potato? I can't believe I'm saying it, but this town's kind of growing on me. Okay, sir, item one. There are some potholes down on six that need filling, but the only money we have left is supposed to buy us that swanky new jacuzzi. Hmm. You know what, Toady? You go ahead and fill those holes. Who are you, and what have you done with my beautiful mayor? Get a hold of yourself, Toady. It's just that, you know, ever since we saved a couple of lives at Toad Tower, people been seeing me a little differently. And, well... You want to be a better Toad? Rubbing off on me. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Toady, grab the other side. Uh, 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 thanks, Mayor. Get on, yeah, man. I know we didn't vote for him, but he turned out okay. Nice. He's actually growing on people. And right on cue. Is this who I think it is? Is this Union? Well, who the fuck are you? Mayor Toadstool, I presume? I am those are the official emissary of Newtopia. We have come to discuss the of I'm sorry, I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta hear her name again. Mayor Toadstool, I presume? I am Jacinda, official Jacinda. emissary of Newtopia. We have come to discuss the events of Toad Tower. Oh, great. Well, sure, I, I may have been at Toad Tower that day, but I had nothing to do. Enough prattle. Let's get right to the point. Nice. It's literally a point. By order of Newtopia, I hereby decree that Mayor Frederick Toadstool has been appointed the new head toad of Toad Tower. <laughs> With Captain Grime gone, we need someone we can trust. And from what we've heard, you're the toad for the job. Huh. Whoa. Frog in heaven. Right? A lot of money. Even had to dodge some bandits to get it here safe and sound. <laughs> 
Anyway, this nice. money is for rebuilding Toad Tower, but who's to say that's all it's for? Hmm? <laughs> so pack your bags. We leave at sundown. Wait, leave? As in leave Wartwood? Uh, Cha, you didn't think we were going to build the tower here. This is actually you? really interesting, though. <laughs> yeah, hypothetically, what would happen if I refused? You'd find yourself rotting in one of the deepest, dankest dungeons in all of Amphibia. Lovely! Hypothetically. Hypothetically, of course. He accepts! Great, the job is yours. Pending an evaluation. Toodles. Wow. Okay, Sorry. idiot. What in Frog's name are you doing? A gig like this is all you've ever wanted. Just look at our vision board. Look at it! Toad Tower bus, nice. I know, I know it's crazy, but wouldn't you miss this place if we left? We are not having this conversation. Yeah, I know, seriously. He's like, what the fuck? I have to go pack all 800 pairs of your silk pajamas. 800 pairs, Jesus Christ. You, I guess you never wear another a pair twice, so I pack any of them. Yeah. Hop Hop sent me to ask about these parking tickets. Are we really gonna make like Hop Hop the mayor or something? He wasn't even in town on these days. Boon Choi, did you ever work your entire life to fulfill a dream, but when it finally comes true, you realize that maybe it wasn't your That's dream? a classic story. Uh, we still talking about parking tickets? Yeah, I'm a kid. I've just been appointed the head toad of Toad Tower. All I have to do is leave this crummy town and never look back. It's everything I ever wanted. So why do I feel so down? Maybe you've come to love this crummy town more than you thought you would. I certainly relate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's way out of this. Well, back home, whenever mom asked me to do chores, I just do a really bad job so she wouldn't ask me anymore. That's it. I just got to convince them I'm the wrong toad for the job. You got to help me, Anne. No one's more incompetent than you. Wow. Really no choice. Prepare yourself for the cutest thing you've ever seen. Uh, to what the fuck? Okay, okay, I'll help. Just That's never not cute. make that face again. Yeah, seriously, never make that face. Lead the way, kid. Are those the All right. unions? I've come up with two ways that this can go. Number one, make the mayor look like a coward. Number two, make him look incompetent. Is there a third option? No. Any questions? Die. No, several. What's the sitch with the parking tickets? Hey, shouldn't we get Frobo and Marcy in on this? No, no. Can do. no. Marcy said she was going to study Frobo all day today. Wonder how that's going. Terrible. <laughs> and she's loving every second of it. Yeah, I, I knew we it. Can do this. That's all so it predictable. And coordination. Oh, wow. Well, lack of coordination is actually a good thing this in this case, so you'll be fine. And much, lack of teamwork. It's our pride and joy. Give me all your coppers, old frog. And make it snappy. Mayor Toadstool, help. No can do, random farmer, for I am but a lowly coward. I guess I'll just hand over all my hard-earned coppers. Ann and Sprague? Why in town nation are you robbing your own stand? I can explain. No need. I get it. You distracted the robbers long enough for the muscle to show up. You're truly wow. head toad. Wow! Well, that didn't work. Don't worry. We still got the second option. No talking. <laughs> also, yeah, you're getting arrested, Ann, and you're never going to see the light of day again. We're throwing, a, throwing away the key. What's your point? Come on, kids. Heard those moles. I'm just saying a fence might not keep them out. And I'm saying... <laughs> I thought that bad idea would work. You idiot. You fucking idiot. Incredible. What a show of strength. Truly, we've made the right choice. Wow. <laughs> Any other ideas? Nope. We're sunk. Well, it uh, looks like I have no choice. I better finish packing. <laughs> No, oh. no, sir. We're all We're packed and ready things. to go. Slowly. We've got a competent assistant here, Mayor. It's too bad he's about to be out of a job. Excuse me? Did you think you were going to be assistant to the head toad? <laughs> Adorable. But no, I, Jacinda, will be Jacinda. the head toad tower. Oh, my God, his reaction. <laughs> Toadie, now see here. I got something to say to you, and I don't care if I go to prison for it. Oh, I'm all ears. Truth is, the truth is. Damn, actual. Actual fucking. And uh, 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 the creepy one, Meyer. Right, him. 
Oh, yes. No, that means. Yeah, it's revenge time. Greetings, Wartwood. You miss me? We're back. Oh man, you. Stink. I don't remember him smelling Whose though. Whose fault is that? Ever since the tower fell, we've had to live as bandits. Makes what sense. What do you want, Bog? Nothing much. Shout out to the end of season. Uh, I actually do have Bog, Meyer, and Ferns names we'll written down. Then we'll have ourselves a little cookout. Burn this whole place to the ground. So what'll it be, Mayor? <sighs> Look after Toadie for me. Time for me to do what I do best. Lie to a fairly large group of people. Look at you, Bog. I'm surprised you ain't thinking bigger. What do you mean? I mean, how'd you like to be my second in command at the newly rebuilt Toad Tower? What's he talking about? Mayor Toadstore's leaving us? Huh, but I heard you like being mayor now. Me? Like being mayor of a disgusting podunk mud hole town like this? Wow. Not, not a chance. Well, we are tired of living in caves and eating scraps. Then you're gonna love this next bit. <laughs> <laughs> Join me, and half of this is yours. It's beautiful. Oh, I agree. Why not take a closer look? Go, oh, move! Attack! Damn! You get him, boys! You idiots. Oh, oh, Fern. Now where'd you go? Oops. Pretty Some sure fire. that's Fern. Yep. Wow. Bog over. Damn, actually getting that uppercut on Bog. Oh, Bog. And then Archie just fucking them up with the fucking spider web over there. I know, I know. It's time to go to Toad Tower. Just give me a minute to say goodbye. All this time, I thought you were the right Toad for this job. But it looks like I was wrong. Huh? You're soft, Toadstool. Way too soft. You love this town and any moron can see it. I'm afraid we need someone cutthroat, someone ruthless, someone just like him. Huh? Well, you guys uh, fucked you're up. pointing at the right guy. You were seconds away from burning this town if you didn't get what you wanted. We could use that kind of resolve, that kind of backbone, yeah. that kind of ambition. So how about it, Bog? Want to rule this valley together? Oh, when shit. do we start? Well, that's not good. Sorry, Froderick, but a heart is the one thing the head of Toad Tower can't have. See you of course. Redwood. That's why Grime, Grime failed. Like a big softy. Oh, I bet you are, and that's not going to be good for any of us. Well, that went well. Oh, who am I kidding? This is terrible! Everyone, about what I said back there? Ah, shove off, you big galoot. We knew you were just looking out for the town. You may be a corrupt, no good, money grubbing lout. But well, you're our money grubbing lout. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> don't leave me! I won't, Toady. Aww. I won't. Aww, that's adorable and kind of really creepy, actually. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Uh, should we be watching this? I don't think so. Maddie and Marcy. Ooh, Maddie and Marcy. Who is Maddie? Hello? Wait, Maddie. Wait, Maddie is mommy, right? Wait, wait, wait. No. Oh, oh, Jesus, I actually totally derped on who Maddie was. See, this is why I have notes. Oh, God, Maddie is crazy girl. Why? How did I forget that her name was Maddie? You know, it's so funny because I feel like Ivy's had a lot more of uh, that central focus. So I think that might be why. I don't really have any other excuse. I don't really know why else I forgot who Maddie was. Oh, Jesus. You guys are gonna 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 roast me for that one, but that was uh, that was episode uh, that was episode sixteen A of Amphibia season two, and uh, yo man, Maddie and Mark, I'm like that, I'm not thinking about the episode we're about to watch how good it's gonna be. Holy shit! Um, but yeah, no, that was cute. Uh, it was uh, Toad to Redemption with Toadstool and uh, showing that he has a heart and he really does care about this town was very adorable and I thought was a, a cool use of Toadstool 
And we also got some plot in there because now we have um, Bog running the valley, which is kind of a nice full circle moment going back to early Amphibia in season one and stuff. And that uh, makes a lot of sense because obviously Grime and Sasha are doing their own thing. And I wish we got to see them a little bit more, hopefully in episode 17, because based on this title, we're not seeing them in 16B, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, definitely a cute episode. You gotta love the, um, you gotta love to Toadstool standing up for his people in Wartwood and, uh, showing his true colors, you could say, and really, you know, really bleeding his heart and soul for Wartwood. I think that's really cool. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing where that goes and, um, you know, kind of seeing more of that, of Toadstool, still being Toadstool, still being, you know, money hungry and stuff, but being a bit more compassionate. I hope there we do see some development that kind of carries over from this episode. That would be really sick if we got to see more of that side of Toadstool moving forward in his interactions with the citizens of Wartwood. I'm definitely hoping for that. But uh, Maddie and Marcy sounds like an insane episode that's just going to be absolute madness because Maddie is insane and Marcy is insane. So like I can't even imagine the two of them spending an afternoon to together just sounds like a dream come true and sounds like it'll probably be one of the better episodes of the series. So just based on the title alone, that's a really hype episode title because I am down for another Marcy episode and I'm also down for Maddie to get some spotlight a character who I still wonder if they're going to do anything with her dynamic with uh Sprig I mean obviously Sprig has Ivy but I'm curious if they're gonna <laughs> complicate that at all or if they're just gonna keep it nice and simple um because uh yeah you know I'm curious how how they're gonna play that probably probably not do anything with that that was just I think mainly a meme but I don't know Maddie is Maddie is a beast, and I, I can't wait to see more of her. And I feel really bad for forgetting her name. She's barely on. She's one of those characters that does not get enough spotlight. I, her name was memorized too for a while. So the fact that I forgot her name is actually kind of wild. Yeah, when I thought of it for a second, I was thinking when I said mommy, I was referring to Ivy's mom. Ironically, um, I actually don't know her name, and I don't actually even think I have her name in my notes, which I should. It might actually be in my notes. I'd have to look, but uh, I'm I'm really mad at myself for forgetting Maddie's name. That actually that's actually a bad one. I'm terrible with names. You guys know that, but I'm trying to get better, and I literally have notes for that. So, uh, which I mean, I was able to figure out who it was, so it's fine. But yeah. Anyways, Maddie and Marcy sounds like it's going to be a really cool episode. I mean, what else is there to say? It's 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 a it's a good title. So. Definitely looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing what the two of them will do together. I'm very excited for that. So let's not waste any time. And let's check out exactly what Maddie and Marcy, what nonsense the two of them are about to get into. So let's check it out. And let's jump in to episode 16B of Amphibia Season 2. Let's get it, Joe. Yeah, it's definitely Maddie at work. Holy shit. Seed of sword spine. One cup of dirt from a widow's grave. Jesus. Add both to bubbling bog water. And finally, one half drop of worm snake venom. Steady. steady. Oh, lovely. Uh, hi, Rosemary, Ginger, Lavender. What are you Rosemary, doing? Rosemary, Ginger, and Lavender. Great hey, names. Sis? You'd promise you'd play with us, remember? I'm in the middle of a spell. Can we play tomorrow? That's what you said yesterday. Look, Mrs. Jonkins is counting on me to bring her pet, Fleefy, back to life. <laughs> hey, hey, get out of here! Necromancy is really advanced magic. It's said that only level two witches can pull it off. I've only done level one spells up until now, so... Boo! Magic is boring. Damn. And creepy. Let's play instead. Remember when you used to juggle us? Juggle us! Juggle oh, us! Fine. Give me a few minutes to wrap this up and we'll play. Yay! Three hours later. Almost there. <laughs> what happened to a few minutes? Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh no, oh no. This could end really badly. Oh Jesus. Oh, 
Tree's alive now. Rockside uh -oh. Conifer, what a find! And they said compiling a plant cyclopedia would be boring. Jesus Christ. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, now you gotta gotta, gotta get equipped for a uh, uh, plant that was brought to life. Nice. No frogging way. A curse user here? <laughs> What's the matter with you three? We were just trying to play with you. <sighs> well, now I definitely don't have time. Go home and help Dad with the bakery or something. I swear. Sometimes I wish you three would just grow up. Damn. I mean, she could have said something so much more. Okay, Marcy, be cool. Just get out there and introduce yourself with confidence. Hi there. Ah. My name's Marcy. Nice. Oh, oops. You're Anne's friend, right? Oh my gosh! That oh was my gosh! Ever some kind of low-grade fire curse? I'm impressed you knew that. Do you also have an interest in the dark arts? Are you kidding? I have an interest I in everything. I've read Cynthia Coven book five times. Cynthia I Coven. I all over Utopia for someone who could teach me, but magic users are so. So Harry Potter, in other words. Let's see this cover. Are you kidding? I've read every Cynthia Coven. And the sorcerer. And the sorcerer's stepladder. Also, the eye is even a lightning bolt, and the glasses also are very Harry Potter. Oh my god, that title, that that thing is ridiculous. What the hell? I might zoom in on it, but I might not bother. Been book five times. Oh, it zoomed in on it myself. I'm not gonna bother them if they, they zoomed in. I didn't even so notice that. These days. Wow. No one's ever been interested in what I do. They usually run away screaming. Baby, I'm running towards you. How do you Hot. know about that? I'm feeling like a beautiful friendship is about to start. Oh, hell Let yeah. My apprentice and help me bring a dead flea back to life. Do I <laughs> <laughs> Nice. If we're going to bring this flea back to life, we need a few more ingredients. First up, bile of a vomit bird. Ew. Oh. Ew. <laughs> then, some big old ticks. <laughs> oh. A really rotted corpse. Uh. No. No. Hey, perfect. Did you girls just mistake me for a corpse? Yes. No, of course not, Hot Pop. Of course not. Ah! Fresh soil from a graveyard. The what the fuck? Limbs. And lastly, a high five from your new best bud. Hell yeah! Well, this is me. That was base. Ugh, I hope my sisters are asleep. I do not want to deal with them right now. What's wrong with your little sisters? It's a long story. I used Aww. to play with them all the time, especially juggling. That was their favorite. Then I got my own interest. Magic became my passion, my calling. Wow, 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 wow. That transition, holy shit. Me. And ever since progress. then, they've been so annoying. As someone who goes hard into her hobbies, I relate. But don't you think you should still make time for them occasionally? Nonsense. Being a witch is a big responsibility, Marcy. I've got more important things to do now than babysit. Damn. Well, you they are, are your master. sisters. See you at the sacrificial grove tomorrow for an unholy ritual. Hell yeah. Hell, Hell yeah. Spiders. Can't wait. God, Marcy loves everything. And they're jelly as fuck. I can't believe Replaced us? Why does she want to hang out with that stupid old lady? I wish we were older. And then Maddie would want to play with us like she used to. <gasps> that's it, that's it, that's it! Oh my it. god, a spell? We just have to use one of Maddie's witchy spells to grow up. Grow up? And then we'll be older and Maddie will want to play with us again. Oh yeah. shit. <laughs> oh, that, that, I was kind of... Good night, girls. Good night, Daddy. Wow. Where have I heard that before? Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! I want to say Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge of all things. I need to perform a level two resurrection with my I feel like that laugh was a reference to something. I'm gonna kill him! We'll make sure you resurrect them when you die. Nice! What a line. What have I told you about playing with my stuff? We're not playing. We're making a witchy spell. Well, what did you do to my book? It's ruined! This is why I don't spend time with you anymore. Because you're annoying little babies. Won't be babies for much longer. Growth potion isn't the same Check as age potion. For a successful curse, some kind of horrible abomination. 
Okay, that's enough. Yeah, that's a horrible okay? abomination. I'm so done with my sisters. Look what they did to my spell book. Yeesh, they didn't even color in the lines. Wow. However, ah! They nice. won't stop me from reaching level two. Let's get to resurrecting. Oh my god, get the first time look. It's alive. It's alive. Yeah, I've got to make the Frankenstein reference. Breeze. We did it. We did it. I'm finally a level two witch. Huh? Um, <laughs> Jesus! That's terrible. Wait, Ginger? You wanted us grown up. So here we are. Grow not grow spell. Come on, Maddie, play with us. I am sick. This is insane. Why would they curse themselves with some half baked growth spell? Growth spell. Oh no, it's because I told them they needed to grow up. They only did this to spend more time with me, and it's bad. Really bad. They did the spell all wrong. How can you tell? Because they're still growing. A curse yeah. like that should be done already. At this rate, they're going to balloon until they explode. Lovely. Now we hide and you Jesus Christ. Man, how many times is Wartwood gonna get destroyed? Like, seriously. Mm. Do you ever think it's weird when the main characters aren't in an episode? Eh, yeah, you don't miss them. Yeah, yeah, you really don't miss them. What the fuck? Wow, we're big. Maybe a little too big? Hey, uh, guys? How much big are we supposed to get? I don't know, but I don't like it. Make it small. Ah! Wow, so much for your... You grow tulips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a funny reference. I grow tulips. What? You Come grow right tulips. You, teach. Nice. All right, Master. I got all the ingredients for the antidote. Good. I'm gonna need you to make four doses while I calm them down. But I'm not ready for that level of potion making. Wait, four antidotes? Why four? Because one of them is for me. <laughs> Rosemary, Lavender, Ginger, I'm here to juggle you. Help us! We made a mistake. I'm the one who made a mistake. I should have made time for you three, but now I'm gonna make up for it. God. Cross hand shuffle. Yo. On the swap. Damn. Three one, Monty. Nice. Maddie, get ready. Nice. <laughs> nice job with those antidotes, apprentice. What can I say? I had a great teacher. Learn from the best. Hell Maddie, yeah. Maddie. No, I'm not. Because of me, you three almost exploded. Wait, what? I yeah, you so guys were about to my explode. Witch stuff that I forgot that being a good older sister is my responsibility too. We forgive, forgive you. No, you should be mad at me. I'm mad at me. Let me have it. Really, I deserve it. We love you, Maddie. Aww. I love you too, you little scamps. <sighs> Hell yeah. Now that's magic. Wow. Oh my God! Yeah, it's just kind of gay to say that. <laughs> It did work. Fleafy. How in the world did you survive Bring that? It in, Fleafy, you crazy Imagine Fleafy just died right here. Fleafy! Like that. Fucking, fucking Adventure Time ending if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I mean, if it was Adventure Time, his head probably would have exploded, but... Okay, now I think about it, it wasn't quite Adventure Time episode ending, but it was close. Close enough.
Bro, imagine being Fleefy. You die, you get resurrected, you get squashed, and then your head pops off. Like, just let the fucking man rest. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. That was a lot of fun. And I would say, yeah, probably the best episode of the set. We got a little less Maddie and Marcy than I wanted. I mean, it was still a lot, but it was it obviously was about Maddie's little tadpole sisters. Um, but it was cute, and I thought it had a good lesson. And, and Maddie's the type of character where she makes a good conduit for a lesson for Marcy. Because obviously Maddie's important, but Marcy's like really important as a character to the narrative. And in the end, this was another lesson Marcy learned. Now, she learned it indirectly and she kind of already knew the lesson but still to have the lesson be reinforced is always a good thing and while you know we might not be getting into marcy and sisters she has her pseudo sisters in ann and sasha who she's obviously going to have uh, some interesting trials and tribulations with in the future at some point mainly depending on when the hell sasha shows up and i'm very curious how marcy's going to play into the dynamic given the fact that sasha and ann are on not good terms at all and Marcy might have a chance to potentially be the mediator between the two of them, which is good. So this good dynamic's going to be so interesting. Um, I'm really hoping to see Sasha in episode 17. Um, but uh, we'll have to see whether or not I, my wish is granted there. But uh, yeah, that, that was a fun episode. Definitely a good episode. I think this set has been solid. This has not been, I think, one of the stronger sets so far. And we'll see what episode 17 brings to the table. It is our final cutoff point before the end of the season. Um, but this has been an okay set. Again, for Amphibia, I'd say it'd been pr decent, but nothing special. Um, there's been good episodes. Uh, none of the episodes were bad by any stretch, but I, I haven't been like really blown away by any episode yet. But again, episode 17 very well might change that. This has still been a fun set though. And I think Maddie and Marcy unsurprisingly was probably my favorite episode of the set. I mean, you put those two together. That's just a combination that's meant to be entertaining. So, um, I really did enjoy that episode, and I thought it was it was a cute little thing with her little sisters, so I, I did like it. I did like it. A little love for the tadpoles in this set as well, since Polly did get some focus as well. Mm. But we still have one more episode left, and I'm really curious to see what that's going to all be about. So, um, yeah. I'm trying to think if I have anything else to say, actually, about the uh, about 16B. But it was solid. Um, I feel, feel like this set so far has been really solid. Um, and even though even though we did get, like, the Frobo thing, which was really cool, I still feel like we haven't really had a lot to uh, dissect in this set. There hasn't been a lot of really interesting stuff. I felt like that was... Not necessarily underwhelming, but it's incomplete. Like, it's clear they're going to do something more with Frobo, and that wasn't the big blow-off for Frobo. I was considering Frobo as potentially a Season 2 finale option, uh, since they've waited as long as they did. So I thought it was kind of weird to just blow that off the way they did. But it wasn't really the blow-off, it was really just a, uh, an episode continuation. Because there's still clearly more they're going to do with him. And there's going to be some big thing with Frobo, but we'll see when that is. It still could be the season two finale, but um, now I'm kind of more leaning towards either the second temple or the third temple being the season two finale, depending on whether this episode is the second temple or not. Because this could be the second temple, and then we get the third temple as the season two finale. That would make a lot of sense structurally, because you'd have the first temple in episode 14, you'd have two episodes in between this, before the second temple in 17, and then two episodes before the third temple in 20. So I wouldn't be surprised if this was the second temple. I would be very pleasant, uh, pleasantly excited, though, if we do have another double-length episode right here. But if not, I'm still down for whatever amphibia has to throw at me. And I'll like I'm not expecting it for sure. I, I think I think in all likelihood we're gonna do the second temple at the end of season two. Uh but I don't know. I don't know. It feels like the the third temple should be the season two finale and unless they do it back to back like nineteen and twenty, which is certainly possible, I feel like this is probably the next best place to put it. 
uh, the second temple. So maybe we will get that. And maybe we could also get Marcy. Not so Well, yeah, Marcy, but also get Sasha in the equation. That would be awesome. I guess we'll have to see what they do. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump in to Season 2, Episode 17 of Amphibia. Alrighty, let's jump into Season 2, Episode 17 of Amphibia in 3, 2, 1, and... Play. I'm just going to take a quick note during this. Here we go. Almost done with season two. It's been a great... Oh! Holy shit, the second temple, Todd and Jen. That means third temple season finale almost for sure. Holy shit. Hot pocket, nice. Holy mantises, what the hell. Holy crap, second temple, that's awesome. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea, Sparrow. Welcome to the Amphibian Arctic, everyone! Amphibian Whoa. Arctic. I triangulated the tracking beam from the Greenstone. And... Hop, hop, move! Oh, sorry. The second temple must be right through there! There it is! Just beyond these snowy gates, a grueling, perilous temple awaits. Interesting. Um, no it doesn't. Hmm... Weird. You go through the gates? Invisible? Mm -hmm. All the ancient texts about this temple were super vague. They just mentioned the word heart a lot. Okay, are we looking for something heart-shaped? Maybe we have to rip someone's heart out! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Involved. Ah! Hey, wait! I know that crazy bird! Ah! Bird! Valeriana. And didn't we need oh, her to the shit. Doctor? Yeah. Oh, yep. she said she's been all over Amphibia, right? Maybe she's seen the temple. Ugh. Why she was up Or to maybe lunch? she because is the, the temple. Meal of the day. <gasps> it's been a while, Tibetal. creature. What brings you here? Do you by chance seek a temple to charge an ancient stone? Oh, yes. You Very specific. Indeed. But do you really think you are worthy? Well, yeah, totally. We shall see. I mean, Marcy was worthy. Is this going to be Anne's yeah, test? Is the third uh, temple going to be Sasha's <laughs> test? Oh, I already... I'm so hyped. Yeah, a lot of names, a lot of names. I am the last of an ancient order. Our purpose was to study the sacred stones and temples. Ooh. So, you know where the temple is? Indeed. And you possess the music box? Sure do. After all these years, it has returned. I should very much like to hold it. Uh, I'd rather hold on to it. Suit yourself. Damn. To get to the temple, we must climb the freezing cliffs of Mount Mutu. Leave your flimsy jackets and wear these caterpillar wool coats instead. Ooh, so fuzzy. Since nice. this temple is my responsibility, you all must do exactly as I say, or else you can say goodbye to ever finding it. Are we clear? Clear. Clear and comfy. Nice, Good. nice. Follow That's me. more important. You gotta be comfy. I mean, Something he doesn't trust her. Didn't you see how she looked at the music box? Plus, she owns a parrot. Only bad guys own parrots. That's ridiculous. That's kind of yeah, true. Bad on, guys always own parrots. It's, it, pets in general is usually a sign of a villain. The temple in this century. How could adventurers so lazy ever expect to conquer the temple? It's because they, the pets are cute and they try to lull you into a false sense of security. She's just saying hello. Ah! Marcy! Ah! Uh, you said it doesn't eat frogs! I, I was sure that. Wait! Cardinals eat caterpillars. It wants our coats! Ah, oh, that makes sense. We need these coats to stay warm and look good! Marcy! Yeah, we, we gotta do? look fly. Let me think, let me think! There's no time! Now let's 
Let's get out of here. Uh, whoa. Uh, uh, you saved us, Anne. Here, take my coat. No, you frogs will turn into ice without protection. I'll be okay, as long as we reach the temple sure. soon. It won't be soon. You think it wise that you abandoned your court? Well, I had to do something. Impulsive Oof. and defensive. Very unworthy qualities, wow. I must say. Don't worry, Ian. We'll huddle around you for warmth. Aww. That was cute. Did you wait? It's impolite to ask, Anne. Yes, it's very impolite to ask. But also, you might as well ask. How wow. exactly did it come into your I wonder if this is the test. There's no temple. She is the temple. I don't remember how we got it. Maybe. Oh, what was that? Nothing much. Just an avalanche. What? Everybody run! Trush, you love little frog baby. Whew. Looks like it's heading away from us. Wait a second. Look! What about that little hut? It looks like someone's inside. We have to save them. How? By running towards an avalanche? They are lost, child. I say we press This is on. the test. She's the temple. She's the temple. Anne's Anne's heart. This is her test. Hey! You guys gotta get out of- Huh? Out to lunch. How is everyone out to lunch right now? It's the test. Yep. You okay? She's 100%. Let's just 100%. She's the test. She's the temple. I've learned all I need to know about you lot. Disobedient, foolish, impulsive. None of these qualities are worthy of the sacred stones. You don't deserve my help. Good luck finding that temple on your own. Now, this is part of the test. You are full of such fraud spit. <gasps> Oh, come on! You barely even gave us a chance! Not only that, now you're gonna strand us out here? Well, we may be unworthy, but you and your order are even worse! You're nothing but a cruel, judgmental snob! Snob! Damn. Brat! You dare insult the order I have dedicated my entire life to? Yeah? What are you gonna do about it? Eh? Uh... Did you guys see that? Yeah, I saw that. Huh? You gonna test her further or what Where the fuck? What did you do? So Just show me my life for the temple no, is all right. Never. You are not worthy. In fact, none are worthy. And now that I finally have you alone, I can return the box to its rightful guardian. Me. Huh? Oh, hey, wait. What the no. fuck? I need that to get home! Aha! Uh -huh. See? Still only thinking of yourself! You're wrong! I'm not... that selfish! Nice, oh, no. nice. Didn't you lie to the planters to get out of a day of work? How... how do you know that? Whoa! Didn't you drive the family snail even though you were told not to? Oh, okay, this is getting weird. What yeah, because you're the temple. you snore. But I kept that one to yourself. Damn, savage. <laughs> Didn't you steal Hoppatai's I love the way she fights, too. On the town? Wow, bring up everything that she's done. I mean, that is definitely not how that happened. But you did steal the music box, did you not? Oh, shit. I... I... I did steal it. So it is! You are a liar and a thief! And now the box will be mine! <laughs> This is all part of the test. Why are you laughing? You can't get back down the mountain without me. Ha! You have to save me. Don't I just wave the stick up and down to get back? You weren't supposed to take that out! Still saves her. Yep. You risked your life to save me? Yeah. But why? Proof of her true heart. I did lie and steal. But I'm not that, that person anymore. Unworthy. Fine. Those bad choices were mine, and I'll own them. But making them taught me that it's always better to do the right thing. Yeah. So that's what I did, regardless yep. of how much I didn't want to. And you just proved yourself. We have been waiting for someone like you for such a long time. Um, uh, excuse me? Nice, 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 nice. Nice. Oh, Mama, you clean up nice. 
You have sacrificed your warmth for your friends, your safety for a stranger in need. You even risked your life. Oh my god, enemy. you hear the music? But Sounds kind of like the ED. Enough for I think it is the ED. Without responsibility. Yep. In the name of the temple, I declare you worthy. Wait, no way. So the Cardinal, the Avalanche, all this all was a test. trial. Yep. See, We've been making our way through the temple this whole time, and I have been testing you. Uh, testing you? <clears throat> yes, Perry. So, what is it you want? Oh, great! To charge the stone and return home. So be it. Nice. Yo, yo. Is a... Oh. Oh. Oh, it takes a little while. It's a lot slower than last time. Sorry, this thing's pretty old. Oh, no, no, no. I get it. No problem. Do you want uh, something to read? Or... Seriously, it's fine. Yeah, we're good. It's moving oh, no! at a decent They're pace. Trouble. What if it's another avalanche? Uh, that looks large enough. Let's go. Send me back, send me back, send me oh, back, send me back. Oh, That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That was a mistake. Oh, uh, maybe it wasn't. Huh? I knew Marcy it was a mistake. Marcy shows ridiculously cute animal videos on her phone. Oh, uh, what's gonna? That, 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 that they're gonna regret right. that. They're gonna regret That's that it didn't get fully family. charged. What pow? Ooh. Not fully pow. charged. I'll explain later. But for now, can we please get out of this cold? Was this a half episode? This <laughs> way to go, way to go. was a half episode. Make us hot chocolate when we get back. I think. Yay! Yes. That sounds great. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. That's gonna they're gonna regret that one. Barrel's Warhammer. Interesting. Well, this is This is a bit of a plot twist. I saw the title, the Second Temple, I just assumed it was a double length. It was not a double length. Interesting. Barrel's Warhammer is 17B, which will be our stopping episode, so hype for that. But um, the second temple happened. It was an 11 minute instead of 22. I like it, though. I like the pacing it the way you feel like you need to pace it. And the second uh, trial was about Anne's trial. Um, makes a lot of sense. Um, I could have saw it either way, honestly, but it makes sense that the last one's the Sasha one, and, you know, it looks like we're probably not getting Sasha in this episode. It feels like they're saving all the Sasha stuff for the end of the season, which is going to be interesting to see how that plays out for sure, but I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that. But really good episode, without a doubt, really, really good episode of Amphibia. I really enjoyed that, really liked seeing Anne get tested in a way that felt very on the nose the whole oh you've been i've been the master you've been seeking all along kind of vibes even though in this case i guess you could say she was the temple that that Anne had been seeking all along but th that's a classic one where you know it's like the they're all the trials and they're teaching you a lesson all, like that that whole gimmick is a very classic uh archetype of episode uh, and story in both in, in animated media, but also just in fiction in general. It's just a very classic story that uh, they told in this episode. So, um, but not one I don't, but one I don't dislike for sure. That was fun, and uh, yeah, I'm very curious to see what happens with Anne's not fully charged blue gemstone because that is clearly going to bite them in the ass later on either in the season two finale or further down the line either way that's going to be um that little bit of impatience that didn't really matter because of how due to her heart because of how much she cares about her family but they that's gonna fucking cost them We'll see what it does exactly. It's also interesting that in the process, it seemed like she it seemed like she actually almost like lost magic from herself in the process of charging that. So not entirely sure what that's about, but there's a lot there were a lot of interesting uh, um, blue magic things happening there that was very uh, sus, and I can't wait to see those storylines play out 
as soon as the season two finale, maybe in season three, but either way, I'm sure they'll be really interesting and I can't wait to see where that goes because that was a really fun episode and um, along with the last two, 16B and 17A, were definitely my favorite episodes of the set so far. And I'm really excited to see what this one's all about. Barrels, Warhammer, sounds like a pretty dramatic title, so I'm sure this will be a pretty interesting episode um, of Amphibia. And it's going to be our cutoff point. This will be the last episode we watch before our Season 2 finale reaction next rotation which I'm sure will be absolutely insane. I'm starting to creep my way up to where you guys are with Amphibia. And cr currently at the time that I'm um, posting this, Season 3B or Season 3 Part 2 of Amphibia is currently releasing. Um, but And I'm, of course, only just getting to the end of Season 2. But I am making progress on the series, and I am very excited to uh, catch up with you guys Hopefully right around the time the show ends, of course, it might get a little awkward with how it's going to time out with everything, but I'm definitely looking forward to it, and I'm sure uh, you guys are as well. It should be a lot of fun once we get that uh, Amphibia finale uh, in the books. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are as well. So anyways, let's jump in to episode 17B of Amphibia. Season two. <sighs> Michelle, Kyler. Is this going to be? Oh, is this going to be Bog and? Disgraced Captain Grant oh. called this council oh. Does anyone have any idea why? Maybe he wants to be surrounded by friends when he gets Captain arrested. Beard. What do you think, Aldo? We're running this back and I'm writing down names. So, the disgraced Buffo. Captain Grime called this council meeting. Does anyone have any idea why? Maybe he wants to be surrounded Beatrix, by friends West. when he gets arrested. What do you think, Aldo? Wow. Although dead as fuck. Uh, is he asleep or dead? Definitely smells dead. <laughs> okay, I got my notes. Not exactly a welcoming crowd. Especially that Captain Beatrix. What's her problem? Her yeah, problem she's an ass. Is that she's my sister. And oh! And we may have teased her quite a bit when we were tadpoles. Oh, I bet. Wow. That's it. Stick a fork in us. We're done. Enough loser wow. talk. We can do this. Just remember what we practiced and keep your eye on the prize. Ooh, that reminds me. I have one last touch for our outfits. Now we really are a team. What nice symbol. I, I see what you did there. Nice one first. Yeah. Now come on, everyone. Let's get out there and impress some chodes, or we die. Woo! Impress some chodes, or Take we die. Oh, What's your brother waiting for? Nice. Toad summit. Yo, Toad's rule! My fellow Toads, for years we have kept the kingdom's servants in line, but are we not just servants ourselves? I propose a future where Toads overthrow King Andreas and take our rightful place as rulers of all Amphibia! Psst, drop the mic! Oh, oh, right. <laughs> there is a cheering. No. I didn't do it. You all took a huge risk coming here to gain support for your rebellion. And it paid off. We frogging loved us. Hell yeah. Ow, ow. Nicely done, Grimothy. Damn. No way. You Is your real name? You're not talking about this. So tell us, tell us, who's leading this revolution? I was thinking, us. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I don't think so. We love your vision, but no toad is going to follow the command of a fugitive and his hummus. Humans. We're called humans. Hummus, oh, wow. Just because King Andreas is working with a couple of hummuses doesn't mean us toads go for it. Wow. Wait, are there humans? They must be talking about Anne and Marcy. I don't believe it. They're working together without me? And apparently aiding the crown. Speaking yeah, of which, this, this double whole thing rage is all around. Risky. God, arrest them. Oh shit. oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Listen here, you buffoon. What's buffoon, it gonna take damn. to prove that you should follow us? 
Oh shit. Barrel's Warhammer. Aldo. Barrel's Hammer. You finally Barrel's got to see that, Aldo. Yeah, that's a suicide mission. It is said that the one who wields this hammer is the true leader of all toads. It is the one thing, the only thing, that will prove we should follow you. Great! Done! You'll have it in your crypt keeper hands by morning! <gasps> <laughs> no toad has ever gone after the hammer and made it back alive. This I've gotta see. Oh, but Sasha's no toad. Thank God we got so, Sasha in this, this set. Hammer and why are y'all so scared of it? A little late to be asking, don't you think? It's the weapon of the legendary Toad Warrior, Barrel the Brave. Barrel He'll the give Brave. his life defending a helpless village from a terrifying beast. Legend has it well, that very the vague. same beast guards his hammer to this very day. Enough! Wimpering. Interesting. We don't even know if this tadpole tale is real. Listen. If things get too wild out here, just give me a signal, and I'll call the whole thing off. A signal? What kind of signal? Hmm. How about this? Do your best kawaii pose. It's oh my god, in my kawaii like pose? It's kawaii, but sure. What's a photo? Just try it. Wow. <laughs> no giggling! We're here! Kawaii. Hey, uh, Sash, thanks for that. Kawaii! I Hey, my pleasure. And don't forget, just strike a pose and we'll leave. If this was the R-rated version, she would have said a different type of pose. According to the map Aldo gave us, we should be close to where the hammer was last seen. This you know what insane. type of pose. Even Starts with an exists, A. We'll never find it. Found it. Wow. That was surprisingly easy. It's real. <laughs> Our ticket to revolution. And no beast in sight. Could life actually be this easy for a change? Quick, Grimesy, get that thing out already. Oh my god, sword in the stone. <laughs> It'll help you. Okay, gang, on three. One, two, three! <laughs> oh. No, 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 please! Look alive! Who knows where it'll come from? Oh, it is on the beast. That's a big beast. Holy moly! <laughs> what a great way to go! Sasha just gonna say fuck it. Sorry guys, but we're way too close to bail. I am not going back empty-handed. But you said... Steer us closer. We need to get it to attack us. What? Trust me! Holy shit, Sasha! And that's the thing—you're trying to, you're, you're, you, you, you know, if you have to, to, if you want people to truly trust you. All right, now we've got its attention. Get ready. Three, two, one, now! Oh shit! Oh shit! That was clutch. Oh, that was badass. Holy shit, Sasha! Damn, nice. Oh man, that was my mom's boat. Well, wow. sucks to suck, bro. This thing's never coming loose. Oh shit. Oh shit. What the fuck is Sasha about to do? Um Damn, trying to freaking. What do you think you're doing? You're gonna take the whole what thing. What does it look like? I'm getting the Warhammer back to the tower. You're insane. <laughs> I, love I love it too. She really is insane, though. Holy shit. It's so badass looking, like she's Last tamed this thing. all about improvements to Toad Armor durability. This year, the R&D team gives you armor customization. Nice. Ooh, that bucky looks nice. Oh yeah! Hey, Greg, what do you think that is? Hmm, that's clearly a narwhal worm being ridden by a hummus, heading straight for us. Yep, gotta love those hummuses, especially the blonde ones. Dude, what the fuck, that Sasha, OST, though. Please, mm -hmm. stop mm -hmm. it! Do it's coming up too fast! We're going to crash into it! Go left! Go left! I can't! I've lost control of it! There must be another way to stop it! 
The Warhammer! It's the only weapon big enough to dent this thing's armor! <laughs> It's no use. Sosa, we've got to get out of here or we'll all die! No! I can do this! I am not gonna fail! Not while Anne and Marcy are getting by with Oh shit! Me. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I saw that little glow in her eyes! Oh, really? I thought she was gonna break something. Yeah. Do it to oh shit! Oh shit! Is that weapon like destined to be hers or something? This is like the, is the, is the third gem, like a pinkish gem, and that's her color. Boop. Yeah, yeah, that's the equivalent of the, the, the love tap. Even Warhammer, as promised. Hell yeah. We hereby grant you the support of all three towers for your rebellion. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Yes! I had my doubts, but we did it! Of course the other did. two. After all, we're the best did, did they, team in this did, are they even here? other world. Right, Braddock? Percy? Are they even no! there? Oh yeah, they're, they're kind of like sussed up. Whoa, you guys okay? Okay? Sasha, we almost died back there. Mm -hmm. We trusted you, and you didn't care one bit about what happened. And to that's us. just gonna break her even more. Wanted. That's not true. Besides, we did it. No, Sasha, you, you did it. it. And I think me and Braddock are done with this, with all of it. What? Where are you going, guys? Come back! You're not actually gonna throw this all away, are you? We are so close, I can feel it. Goodbye, mm -hmm. Sasha. We hope you pull it off. We really do. Damn. That's enough, Lieutenant. Get out of my way, Grime. Just let them go, Sasha. We all have our limits. It looks like they finally hit theirs. But... I know it hurts. But remember, every dream has its price. And not everyone's willing to pay it. Damn. Now come on, soldier. That's we a good lesson, though. To conquer. Even if Sasha... Goodbye, Percy. Goodbye, Braddock. Damn. And that one hurt her. Especially because she doesn't feel like they're betraying her. It was a more... It, she recognized the nuance in it and understood that it was because of her actions, even if she disagreed with the fact that they left and that they should be able to take it. But she was able to distinguish why and how. Like, it, it didn't fill her with rage like she felt betrayed. Now, if they start, if they end up befriending Anne and Marcy and company, then she might feel a little betrayed. But she's able to, at least as it stands now, understand that that wasn't an act of betrayal. Which says, says a lot about Sasha's arc and where her character is currently. And I'm so happy to be talking about Sasha right now. That was great. I'm, oh man, I really am just so happy to be talking about Sasha right now. That's absolutely fantastic and something I really loved about this episode. Sasha and Grime, because he's one of the best characters too. You can't forget Captain Grime, soon to be Commander Grime, General Grime. I don't know what he's going to be called, King Grime? <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, there's a lot going on. Andreas, I've kind of mentioned, he, he's the he's the king that doesn't really give a fuck about what's going on in his own um, sus because he has this bigger shit going on with his master and stuff, so he doesn't give a fuck about normal people and normal shit, which uh, is reminiscent to me, like I said, it reminds me a lot narratively of like a Code Geass show, if you've ever seen that, if you haven't, again, you should watch it. But um, it's very interesting to see how that all kind of um, comes together. And I'm very curious because now we have another wrinkle to the mix. So the Rebellion, now they have their forces. So now they're all set to make that push. Which, again, given where we are in the show with three episodes left, season two finale is probably... See, this is interesting because it could be the third temple. It could be the Rebellion. Both of those things could happen. Um, I, I, I don't know. Like this, this. See, I was kind of feeling that we were slow playing this a little bit because I thought they might do something while they were in Newtopia, uh, while Anne and the Planners were in Newtopia. That never happened. And I was like, okay, it seems like they're slow playing this. 
But now, I mean, they have their rebellion. All that's left is the actual rebellion itself. So, I mean, that could easily be season two finale. But we also have already done two of the temples and the third temple. And that's going to be Sasha. And it's all connected. So it feels like this is all going to come to a head in the next video when we cover the final three episodes of season two. That is going to be hype as fuck. And this was the best episode. What a shocker. It was about Sasha. It was about Grime. But, it, but more importantly, it was about best girl, best character, Sasha herself, and continuing her arc. And I felt like, like I said, there was a lot of nuance in this. We got to see her rage... Um, just like that deep vitriol for the thought of people uh, of failing, that deep thought of the, of the idea that Marcy and Anne can succeed without her, the idea that they can work together without her. Like all of these things are triggering um, Sasha. And you add in that, that determination. She's such a strong-willed, independent individual. Like there's just so many things at play here that make her so interesting, that make her the most compelling character. As much as I adore Marcy, I'm still sticking with my guns that Sasha is best character, best girl. Um, I think Marcy is in the con conversation. Um, I, I adore her. She's such so adorable and she's my type of character in so many ways. But Sasha is Sasha. Like, I feel like my biggest complaint with Amphibia up to this point is that we needed a few more Sasha episodes. Like, I'm honestly, that's my biggest plank complaint with season two is we're just, we have not focused Sasha enough. If next set was like half of it was Sasha, that would just be, that would make up for it. Um, or if we got a ton of Sasha in season three, like, I don't know what the answer here is, but we need more Sasha in this show before it's over. And hopefully in season three, we'll get more Sasha, but very curious to see what they do in the season two finale with her and with all three of them really. And then the other, there's so many other factors at play as well. That's so interesting. But like I was saying, Sasha really had that moment where she recognized her own, um, she recognized the fact that while she was disappointed in the decisions of her friends, she understood that it wasn't an act of betrayal. And she really saw what happened with Anne as an act of betrayal. And she was so deeply wounded. Now, of course, she had a longer standing relationship with Anne than them. But it does seem to recognize the fact that she's noticing the common denominator that is herself when it comes to these failed relationships. And she's, she didn't have that same, like I said, very uh, reaction that was full of vitriol that she had in season one. And I definitely feel like there is a development there. But at the same time, there's clearly a bitterness in her heart for how these things have worked out. And I'm so curious to see how uh, the team, the Amphibia team, is going to play that. Because I feel like she's one of those characters that's like on the edge and she could go, she's teetering between... It, it, it's the it's the it's the Zuko effect where it's like, are you the hero? Are you the villain? You know, are you uh, will you be redeemed or will you fall completely down the mountain and go completely fucking batshit? Right. It's that type of character arc. And I think it's really interesting. And I'm really excited to see how they play this with Sasha and what is the end game for Sasha. You'd imagine with the three gems and the and the, the calamity box and how it works that in the end the three of them are going to all work together and that's what needs to be done, but who knows how they're going to play this? I certainly don't. And I definitely think I could see Sasha I, I could see them going multiple directions with this. I'm not going to assume anything, even though I do feel like all the seeds are there for a redemption story with Sasha. It's been built in the entire time. You can see it in there that she clearly isn't an awful person. But it, it, it's it, again, it's nuanced and I could see them going either way with it. And you never know. And even if they go one way, that doesn't mean it's that's going to be the case forever. So there's so many ways they could play this, and I get the feeling the finale. I don't know exactly what the contents of the finale are. Is it going to be the Rebellion? Is it going to be the Third Temple? Is it going to somehow be both? Probably, the, honestly, of the three options I just said, the third one's probably the most likely. 
How they're going to do that, how they're going to structure that, I have no idea, but I am so excited for the next Amphibia video when we do get to tackle the Season 2 finale. That's going to be amazing, and I'm sure is going to be filled with a lot of crazy reactions and a lot of just what the fuck, because even the Season 1 finale, and that was when the show, I feel like, was still establishing itself as um, a good show, I feel like the Season 1 finale like really blew blew everything before it out of the water. It was, without a doubt, the best episode of the series up to that point. I would argue it is probably, even now, maybe still the best episode of the series. Like, I fucking loved the season one finale. I forget what it was called off the top of my head, but it was fantastic. And I, um, what was the season one finale called? That's actually going to bother me now that I think about it. It was, uh, Reunion, right? Yeah, it was Reunion. But, yeah, it was fantastic, and I thought it was just a great uh, great episode. And I, I think it really set the stage for the second act or second season of Amphibia. And I'm really curious how the second act of Amphibia is going to come to a close in the next video. I think that's going to be absolutely fantastic. And I have very high hopes. I think... You know, even though season one was essentially nothing but, you know, character building and world building. And even then I say world building, it was mostly just, you know, the characters in the town and all that stuff. Um, it was very good, but it had an incredible season one finale. So the expectations for season finales in this series is very high. And I think season two has eclipsed season one in every way. I think season two undoubtedly has been the better season of Amphibia. I don't think there's any debate there. And I'm so curious to see how they finish off what has been an awesome season um, that has really elevated this show in all the ways I feel like it needed to. Now they just need a finale to just completely fuck me up and completely blow me away. I that that's that's what this season needs. Really cap it off. I high expectations, high hopes for next rotation, next set of Amphibia to really blow me away, and I hope. That this show lives up to my hype in the next video. Because like I said, I was expecting... I, I felt like we needed a lot in the season 1 finale. We don't necessarily need it as much now. But I'm expecting um, something crazy. And um, we've done a lot of crazy stuff in season 2. So I definitely think the expectations are pretty high. All things considered for a banger finale. And I, I get the feeling it'll live up to the hype. But we'll see what happens. Anyways... That was a great episode. Again, Grime and Sasha got to got to meet the other Toad Tower potatoes. Apparently, we have a north, south, east, and west tower, which is very cool. Uh, and, and the four, all the toads, essentially, of Amphibia are all going to come together as part of this rebellion and, you know, follow Grime and Sasha towards uh, Newtopia and towards uh, King Andreas. And I can't wait to see how that plays out probably in the next video in the next amphibia video so that's going to be fantastic but if potentially not potentially this is a storyline that builds into season three and maybe even the finale of the series i mean i i don't think they're going to wait that long but maybe they do who knows whatever the case may be i'm super excited and uh yeah i, I really can't wait to see what they do so uh yeah that's Pretty much all I got to say, I guess, about uh, this uh, video. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun with these episodes. Like I said, not the strongest episodes in the world. I think episode 17 was phenomenal, both the A and B episode, especially the B episode. But obviously, you know, doing the second temple, that stuff was very good and very plot relevant as well. So, episode 17 was awesome. But I thought 15 and 16 were quite good as well. And overall, it was quite a fun set that really ended strong. So can't really complain about that. But uh, anyways, if you want to support the channel, Patreon down below in the description, Discord server as well. And without any further ado, it is time for me to bid you adieu. Flaming Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day. And I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.